Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. We're exploring a whole new world today on Go Island, and it, it's there's a lot to take in. I've just noticed over there, it's a, a portal to the prototype that's currently under construction because this maker space, well, there's a sister maker space in Calgary, and they have a portal just like that. Taking aim with antique firearms at Nanaimo Fish and Game, the Circle of Life and Art in Port Alberni, and exploring the Kinsel Trestle. You are watching Go Island, and today we are at Makerspace Nanaimo. It's tucked away 2221 McGarrigal Road in kind of the industrial area. And the concept here, it's, it's a national movement started in Europe, has picked up in the States, and it's landed here now in Nanaimo. It's a common workspace. There's a focus on technology. There's a focus on woodworking, on welding. If, if you can think it and you want to make it, this is the place to be. It gives you the space and the collaborative brain power to do what maybe you couldn't do alone, whether you need the help in thinking about it or you just don't have enough room in your one-bedroom apartment. We are going to explore Makerspace today and we're going to keep on with a little bit of a theme of taking old things, which is a part of the concept of Makerspace, um, and instead of just throwing them away, reinventing them into something else or fixing them up and making them better. They want to pimp my toaster, apparently, but that's a whole other conversation. We're going to look now at antique firearms. Here's Kelly Robinson. The Nanaimo Fish and Game Club is hosting an antique firearm show on February the 8th that will run uh, from 8.30 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. This is Keith Brown and he was giving us a little tour around Makerspace Nanaimo and it, it's a bigger concept than maybe at first glance you think it is. What is happening in this space? Uh, at any one time, almost anything, we're doing 3D printing, uh, metalwork, woodwork, electronics, software, that's sort of the overall category, but that basically can be anything. Antique radio repair is one thing I just showed you, the old radio. It's a lot older than any of us here. Right, and it's in mint condition, found in a back alley well, in part the of heroin in somewhere. Condition. The wood's really bad, so we have, we're actually thinking of collaborating. The woodworkers can re refinish and repair the uh, cabinet, and there's metal work because the, sh the chassis needs to be sandblasted, and it's electronics, of course, and that's old electronics, so I, obviously I fit in there. <laughs> now what can you do here in this collaborative space that you couldn't do at home in your own garage, your own shop? Uh, well my shop's not big enough but um, and s some people actually have said that they have everything that they can do here or have all the tools available to them but they still want to come here for the camaraderie and the you know, sharing of ideas. Okay, and just to clarify for, for you at home, membership is $40 per month it gives you 24-hour access to the space yep. and then there are different workshops and things that are, are taught to the members and by the members? Exactly. We have uh, software, um, hardware, like little, little computers which are called Arduinos uh, or Raspberry Pis. There's a couple of, I think they're alternating classes basically on those. We have a 3D printer night which is Sunday nights, basically just a, a meetup to see what what we can talk about. Mm -hmm. um, we, try, we try to organize a, a metalworking yeah. night. It hasn't really come to fruition yet, but there's three or four people who want to learn how to use the metal aid more. Um, and there's a couple of people who actually do know how to use it. Right. I last used one in grade nine in high school, so <laughs> yeah. it was quite a while ago. And, and there's something bigger happening here. We talked about the um, uh, fixing things and reusing things and sort of trying to step out and away from this re disposable world yeah, that we I, seem to be living in I now. I think you'll find most people that are members believe in that. Uh, I don't think it's it's not in our charter. Uh, we are aware of the Repair Cafe concept and we think maybe they could come and uh, maybe do a weekly or something Repair Cafe here if, if that worked for them. Right. This is, this is where the toaster idea came in because I asked Keith if he, if he could teach me how to fix my broken toaster and he said, oh, we could fix it and then some and get it to communicate well, and we yeah, sort of took it beyond. But that's the kind of stuff that happens here. You take one little idea and it gets bigger. Well, somebody bring a, brings a TV in and they want to make it into a, a portal to 
another city, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, that was a big plasma TV, which was probably worth five or six thousand dollars new. And, uh -huh. and now it's a portal to another yeah, world. Yeah, well, it will be, maybe. Awesome. Okay, we're going to explore some of the other projects taking place here at Makerspace Nanaimo after a random act of magic. Hey, we're hanging out at the Sea View restaurant right here at the Qualicum Beach Inn, and uh, I'm here with Linus. Hey, Linus, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. We have this beautiful, beautiful bar behind us. Check this out. Thought I'd do a little bit of a card trick. A card That's cocktail, good. per se. Card all right. Cocktail. A card cocktail. I'll show you what I mean. Uh -huh. uh, we have a deck of cards that are all very uh, different. Okay. Very, very different. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some of the cards, put them face up, and face down. Face Just up, like that. face down. Face right. up, face down. And uh, I'm going to put them inside of this little martini shaker, just like this. All right, I'm gonna give him a shake. A little shake. It's a way of shuffling. Let's take a look. Let's see what we have here, oh yeah. Look at this mess. Some of, the cards, some of the cards are face up, some of the cards are face down. Look at this. That's a bit of a shuffle. Yeah. A shuffle, okay? Very good. Now this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to, uh, take some of these cards, I'm going to try and unshuffle them. Unshuffle them? I know that sounds weird. Unshuffle them in there? Unsh unshuffle them in here. A card cocktail. Here we go. Now, before I start, name a card, any card. King of Spades. King of Spades. Here we go. I think I got it. Hang on. A little more. And there we go. All right. Let's take a look to see what we have in here. We have our cards. I want you to look at this because all the cards are face up again, except for wow. one. One card. Oh, That's it. And you selected the King of Spades? I did. Linus, take that out of there. King of Spades. King Whoa. of Spades, yes. Look at that. Card cocktail right here at the Sea View. That's it for another random act of magic. Still to come today, dedicated to greatness from the age of five and an island adventure at the Kinsel Trestle. The 3D printers here at Makerspace Nanaimo get a lot of attention and I was going to show you the uh, nine little bastions that are being made simultaneously, but then Jesse's here and, and what are you doing? Oh, I'm just upgrading the uh, the main body of my printer here. It's made of laser cut birch, which is a bit too flexible. So I'm just upgrading it with uh, some extruded aluminum I bought at the supermarket next door. So, so this is your personal 3D printer, and what do you use it for? Um, mainly just for the sake of 3D printing, for making the printer better or upgrading it however I can. Okay, and you were across the road returning some bottles and yeah. found this place? Yeah, I was at the recycling depot and I saw the sign and I pulled a quick UE and was like, oh, what's going on here? And yeah. since then, you're here. Oh, it's like every day. And what have you gained from your time here? Uh, shortcuts, experience, um, yeah. helpful hints. You know, um, just the community is a huge aspect of getting to know people. Yeah, excellent. And so you're getting some help on how to incorporate this into that. Yeah, lots of input from Derwin and such, yeah. Yeah, excellent. Okay, well, we are going to have a little chat with Derwin uh, later on. If I don't steal all the airtime before we get to that part of the show today, we're going to throw things down to Victoria Paul Beilstein, spending some time with um, a very young violinist with a very bright future. There is about 3,000 square feet here at Makerspace Nanaimo. The address, once again, 2221 McGarrigal Road, kind of tucked in behind. It's a membership-based, collaborative, co-op community that's around reusing, saving, recycling, inventing. I mean, there's a portal to another world here. How much better does it get than that? And uh, this is the sort of metalwork area. There's another woodworking shop next door. You really should check this space out. We're gonna head over to Port Alberni now. Art enriches life and life enriches art. And it's a cycle that goes on and on and over and over in different cultures and communities throughout the world. It is something that is being actively embraced in Port Alberni. Here's Nancy Wilmot. Derwin Pye is a teacher at Ladysmith Secondary School and a founder, founding member of Makerspace Nanaimo. And there is a connection between how you teach 
at the secondary level and what happens here at Makerspace? Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, the, the opportunity here is just for people to be very creative and to uh, find something that they love, find something that they want to work on, and then find other people that are interested in similar things. And uh, so I'm all about uh, STEAM. Uh, STEAM, learn, okay. STEAM powered education, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. Okay. Um, I've got all of those things going on in my computer lab at Ladysmith Secondary, and the kids are just really free to experiment and, and play around with things. And this is kind of an extension of that, when on a bigger scale, uh, more stuff going on, more people collaborating and finding interesting things that they can work on together. And at first glance, it almost looks like it's a bit of a techie slant here, but you can't really categorize one type of person or one type of interest that spends time here? No, it's, it's open to anyone. We're pretty much, uh, we haven't put up any barriers to anyone coming in and just finding a project that they want to work on. Um, it's just, it's going to be defined by the people who join. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, you can get more information nanaimomakerspace.org, I do believe. I haven't had a thought bubble in a while. If I'm wrong, I will. We will be corrected. We're going to throw things over now to Raji. She's taking an adventure at Kinsel Trestle. I have not yet made it to Kinsel Trestle. It is moving up on the list for sure, especially now that spring is hopefully just around the corner. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. A note before we go, the 2015 Show of Hearts special will be airing on Shaw TV next Wednesday. That is February the 4th at 6 p.m. Hosted by Fiona Forbes, who will be introducing you to families across the province who have been helped by Variety, the children's charity. And this is all leading up to the big telethon that's coming up mid-February. That's out of time. That's it for me today and then some. If you want more information, on Makerspace, go online, makerspacenanaimo.org. Thanks for watching, Go. We'll see you next time. Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Center, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.